I've got an itch I can't scratch I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me An open wound scar to see Everybody come here, gather round Welcome to the Freak Show, the best in town Welcome to MTG3 3, Three. Yes, MTG3, today we got an excellent video for you. Three peasant and pauper cards from Dominary United just for you. And today, we're going to find out what they are. And we start right now. The first card on this list is an amazing addition to aristocrat style cards for popper and peasant cubes and commander decks alike. This card is the only uncommon on the list. And I think it's gonna be underrated. And for those who know, this card is gonna be amazing. And what card are we talking about? We are talking about Elas El Cor Sadistic Pilgrim. Elas El Cor Sadistic Pilgrim cost a white and a black. It is a legendary creature, Phyrexian Core Cleric, with 2-2 two, two power and toughness. He has Death Touch, and whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. And whenever another creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. This card is amazing. This card is nuts. Orzhov decks, especially in cube, are going to love this signpost kind of card for the strategy. It goes well with Blood Artist, Zulaport Cutthroat, heck, you could even use Suture Priest because it's effectively near the same card. So, this has a lot of backup to go with it to strengthen those strategies. And that's why this is the first card on the list. And it's a great card. No joke. And with that, we go on to the second card on the list. <laughs> the second card on this list is a card like we've seen before. This card is great in Voltron style death. It's good in Popper, it's good in Peasant. Heck, this card would be good in my Rafik commander deck. Yes, Rafik of the Mini. This card is an artifact that does the same as Dark Steel X. And if you don't know what this card is by now, we are talking about Vanquisher's Axe. Vanquisher's Axe costs one generic mana. It's an artifact equipment. It has equip for two. You can attach to target creature you control. Equip only as a sorcery. And it says equipped creature gets plus two plus zero. This card is nuts. You have cards like Dark Steel Axe and Bone Splitter to go alongside with in Popper and Peasant decks. But even a rare card called Eater of Virtue loves this card as an additional card to the list of whatever deck or cube you put into it. This is a Voltron strategy deck. This card is amazing. This card strengthens a theme and synergy. Especially in the Voltron style. And I love, love Voltron style. Yes. And that leads us to the third card on the list. The third card on this list is an amazing addition to the control types. It is fixed control, it is fair control, and it makes sense. This last card on this list, this number one card, will fit into popper cubes, peasant cubes, and regular cubes. This card is fair. I know it's a weird thing to talk about how fair a card is, but it's like, pseudo removal but it's fixed to not be broken and what card am i talking about we're talking about impede momentum <laughs> impede momentum cost a generic and a blue is a sorcery it has tap target creature and put three stun counters on it if a permanent with a stun counter would become untapped remove one stun counter from it instead then scry one. 
This card is strong. Now, obviously the notion is if it was instant, it'd be way better. And duh, if it was instant, it would be way better. So much better. But it makes the top of this list because it brings a new style of control to the format of cube. I would not run this card in Commander, but I love the simplistic design of this card. I love how simple the card is, but how strong the card actually is. It buys you time. It stops a creature from attacking for three turns. And that is amazing. And that leads us to the end step. <laughs> to answer last week's question of what is your favorite card from Dominaria United, Brian Giles MTG offered this answer. He is excited for the new children coming out and would love to play. And that is a strong card. That is a good card, especially for Nekuzan, the Mind Razor. And for the question of today, is what common card from Dominaria United are you most excited about? Put your silly and ridiculous and or serious answers in the comments below. And until next week, my friends, Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and play wise, my friends. I totally want to thank you for watching today's video. I really appreciate it, 100%. Like this video as if it's your favorite kind of pizza, dude. And if you wouldn't mind, consider smashing that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications. Every one of these things you do helps the channel out a lot. I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm pissing a piece that completes a whole part of me and open wounds far to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly. Thoughts jumbled around, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't want to get lost in the sedative. Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive. You know I'm about to go walk, I won't let them win. I'll take a stab, I want to chase the bag. I want a way I can change all the things I lack. I gotta face the facts, I gotta...